Okay, we're going through defensive deployments. Uh, defensive mechanized deployments. I'm uh, commanding the vehicle. Um, and Blue is commanding the troop, and Filth is going through the way that we uh, deploy in mechanized. So we've just gone through um, procedures, basically. And now we're looking at in more detail. So let's go back over. Okay, so what I say a skirmish is is uh, it is a medium range or long range engagement for which you deploy your infantry and it is a form of or it, it achieves a couple of things So that's the um, so SOP it's a that we can go through. Movement. It's inherently about moving, about getting you forward. It is also a form of reconnaissance. Because infantry see and hear more than an IFV. And it is also a form of... Um, decision making because the troop leader gets to see the terrain around him he gets to uh, perceive of the enemy disposition strength and all of that and he can make up his mind about what to do whether he needs to go for any um for any high value targets or whether he needs to pick up and move somewhere else all right so it's it's all about just getting out and looking at stuff which Pilgrim is also, again, about this defensive uh, mindset. Um, if you commit to a forward movement and end up surrounded by the enemy, there's very little freedom, there's very little decision-making to it. So that's why we go defensive as well. You had only not heard me, um, so it's fine. Last time <laughs> I was asked whether I had um, any recommendation for um, how to actually do this. So I, I told you guys you need a structure and all that, but uh, I didn't really give you any substance on that. So I think it's it's very simple because you have a, a basic division of labor that is dictated by the nature of the elements that you are working with the IFV and the infantry. So your infantry, um, they don't have the best long range stuff. They don't have a 30 millimeter cannon, but they're very stealthy and they can um, they can move right on on foot. That is something that they can do, and the IFV also can move and shoot at the same time. So it's sort of your perfect moving uh, Overwatch element, while the infantry can find ways forward, do reconnaissance, and do decision making. All of that is part of combat. Movement is part of combat movement as part of fighting so i'd say that the infantry is always a maneuver element and that the ifv is always an overwatch element which means that the infantry don't need to get stuck in every engagement the infantry do not need uh, to kill every enemy they see they can make a contact report, disengage, and move on to where they need or want to be. Um, does that is that clear, or is that counter yep. ex excessively counterintuitive? No, I think good. that makes more sense now. That yeah. infantry is the element that actually moves around almost the IFV. Okay, so. And to add to that, I was also asked to make some to make some recommendations on basic tactics, which maybe this isn't enough for you. You can let me know whether it is or not. So when in contact, right, you, you will be in contact, you will be shot at, but still you have this sort of division of labor. You still want to get forward and all that. The situation doesn't really change, but you are being shot at, right? So for the infantry, something to do for them, I find, or well, that's how I do it, is to just form them up. Form them up in uh, lines or wedges, depending on the situation, and slowly sweep forward. 
and that also translates to a squad structure, right? You can form the squad up in a line with, you know, facing forward or a sort of echelon formation with one of the elements taking point and then slowly push your way into contact. You still have that overwatch element dishing out 30 millimeter. You still have stealthy infantry looking around, um, taking care of security, uh, doing recon, planning, decision. All that is still in place, but you know, you're in this. So again, uh, when in contact, I'd like you to form lines or echelons, echelons and slowly sweep forward. And then you'll also have times when you are not in contact. And the easiest way to, or the fastest even, um, is to just form columns and uh, jog jog on if you're not being shot at column jog if you're being shot at lines or echelons and sweep uh, does that make sense you think that's uh, feasible mm -hmm. cool i think what i'll do is leave it at that for the time being we're almost on track and I would like to send this squad off on course two. Start of course two. You can just go ahead and do that. A few points. Um, I would like you to uh, get on channel five as well if you're a vehicle commander or a troop leader. Mm -hmm. um, so that we get a chance, one, of practicing our squad comms. You don't need a long range. The vehicle has a long range. Of course. It works just like a backpack, so you should be familiar. Um, I'll, I'll just completely give the squad to you and won't interfere, and we can do some Channel 5 comms as well. Cool. So that's point one. Point two is, if you check on the map, you'll see the course has two phase, line, phase lines, a yellow phase line and a red phase line. Oh, yeah. uh, we will pause and discuss at each. Okay. Cover that. All right, crew. Cool. Let's go. Five. Um, all right, infantry. Double check the box here. I want to just make sure if we can get uh, any. Yeah. Okay. So Cicada, yes. I'm going to call weapons free when it's all right to shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Ready to check one zero. Copy one zero. Um. So before that, we'll hold fire, and as soon as uh, I've called weapons free, then you're clear on targets. Stand by. Uh, this is uh, pick on five. This is Platoon, be advised you're speaking on a short range uh, radio break. I got your comms check nonetheless. <laughs> right, copy that, standby. That's it, pig. Um. What am I doing? Uh, yeah, that's right. God, forgotten. And then put that one on. Come on, check on five. Good stuff, thank you. All one one call signs, this is Platoon. I think you've been briefed. Um, unless there's any questions, you're all uh, good to go. Good luck, have fun. One one pig. Alpha copies on 50. Alpha. Uh, cleared him out. So we are going to, when they're mounted up, we're going to be doing a 180 and going along the road and then taking a right. Okay. Gunner, I want the gun forward at all times, unless specified. Pig. This is Alpha, we are all mounted right. up, ready to go. Over. Copy that, pig moving up. All right, driver, 180 please. 
Are you using the in 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 car comm system or something? Uh, no, actually, we need to do that as well. That's it. Uh, interact, and then intercom channel, and then press crew. Okay, is it working now? Should be. So. All right, we'll pull her right onto this road, driver. Can we hit it? Alpha, are you ready? Are you ready for? Oh, let's not go to the ditch. Yeah, quarter right. Yay! Ready to get this action, get this bread. And forward. This is Platoon. Uh, please make sure none of your crew are turned out in combat situations. Over. Copy that. Uh, crew, uh, we're doing a taking a right here. Uh, crew, all crew must be uh, turned in. I am. <laughs> Uh, keep it at uh, five zero for now. Remember to stay along this road. Is it prologue? There was one event. It was in the Yeah, there was. Yeah. And we're going to be taking this left road ahead of us. There was also the core prologue. Oh And now, get down to two zero. Three was it, or was it four? Yeah, that was, I think it was three four, like four. Yeah. Hold. Hold. Driver, reverse. Uh, we've got contact ahead. We're going to uh, back up. Find you somewhere you to cover. Hold uh, on your car. Oh, sorry. Back, yeah. back up, Hold fire. Definitely has been. One one two. That's excellent reaction. Hold contact. I like it. Keep it up. Right, forward. Driver left into the wall. Uh, Onto the wall. Uh, Get us in cover. Get us in cover. Facing east. Alright, right, scanning. Alright, reverse further. And back onto the road and reverse up the road. Hello. Keep going. Keep going, fast as you can. Fast as you can. Straight, straight. All right, st straight reverse. Yep. One action. This is Alpha on five or send it. Send on five. Uh, just clarifying for you, actual. Um, are we permitted to go off the course uh, in terms of on the eastern road over? Hold. Well, one one alpha, be advised, you are welcome to use the uh, full width of the course as marked by the uh, black line on your west. Over. I'll receive. Thanks for the clarification. No. Alpha, this is Pig. We've got contacts to our south. Fire team to the south southwest uh, and straight ahead. Uh, you are in defilade, and I'm good. You could, you're clear to dismount either left or right. How copy? Alpha copies, contact south southwest and south. We are in a, a defilade. We're going to dismount left, dismount left. Alpha dismount left. Call when clear. Alpha is clear. Good copy. Pig, pig reversing. All right, driver, reverse out of this defilade so we've got eyes on those contacts. One one platoon. So far, so good. Now find a way forward. Any ice? Any ice? Yep. Uh, to our south, one eight nine. We have fire team uh, south southwest one nine zero. We're going to engage. Your weapons free. Copy that. I have no ice on there. One nine zero. On the rock. Two hundred meters. Three hundred uh, meters. Push. All right, driver. Uh, head one eight nine. One one alpha. This is platoon. What's the hold up, over? Uh, just getting a read on the terrain here, over. Hold, gunner. Do you see them? South okay. southwest oh. one eight nine. Yep. Pig engaging contacts one eight nine. Good copy. Keep going. Uh, pig, this is alpha. Send. Uh, we're moving.
Seven. Right, we've got a fire team yeah, one nine five. Using lead, uh, to cover advance, over. Copy that. We're engaging two fire teams to our one nine five. Good copy. One Let to the left of that. Safe. Down. Down a bit. One more. Yeah. Good copy. All right, driver, I want you to turn uh, front, uh turn east. Contact quarter right. One one five four one five four one five four. Nail him. Pig report. Uh, are you all right? Yeah, you've got uh, someone in your rear, contact in your rear, single contact, fire team actually. And to the right, to the right gunner. All 1 1 call signs, this is platoon urgent. You have been overrun by enemy motorized assets because you guys are split up. I suggest right, head you east. This immediately. Head east, driver. Uh, driver. Be advised, we're regrouping with you now. Yeah, stand by. Uh, we've got contacts around. I think our driver's down. Stand by. Oh, he's fucked. Oh, yeah, the wheels are uh, banged up as well. Uh, Pig, you had a SPG truck uh, directly next to you. It is no down. Yeah, copy that. We've uh, got a tier one, tier one. Copy, we're coming back to assist. Cicada, keep an eye out, but we need help uh, on him. Uh, Piggy, you've got a pop, Commander Smoke over. Uh, Stand by. Okay, who's down? Who's down? Oh, uh, Bio. I can't, I, I haven't checked him actually. Okay, I'm gonna check him. Pig, be advised, uh, we are on your rear side. My AG's inside trying to help you. You are not clear at the rear, over. Copy. Okay, doing bio. Oh fuck, he needs a uh, fucking zip. Right, gunner, contact south. Yeah. Bio, dear one. Where south? South, direct south, 180, direct south. Single contact. On the road? Yep, yeah, right of the road. Right up. Yep, yeah, down a bit. He's just ducked down. Right. I'll fire, scanning. 1-1 one, one, pick this platoon. If your casualty can be unloaded, we can expedite the process. So. Yeah, copy that. Uh, Juna, any way of unloading the driver? Uh, right, our uh, casualty is currently tier one. He's uh, needing CPR. We can't get him out right now. Copy that. Stand by. Right. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, if you can just keep by his front south. Now, best planning always. Take your driver sorted. He's uh, ready and able. Copy that. Get him to mount up. Uh, pig, this is Alpha. I've got an intent for you over. Send. Uh, we're gonna see if we can uh, peel a little bit to the right here. We've got uh, gunner direct here. south. Like to get right side of road. South side here, break. Uh, if you can try another advance on that road there, so you can lock that down. Uh, if you take any RPG fire, uh, just kind of bait them out a little bit over. Yeah, copy that. Just want to keep in. Uh, visual with you. Yeah, we'll Alright, we'll, uh, driver we'll keep, forward, uh, south, semi, onto uh, the road, there, dead over. slow, 10, copy, south. Bio, can you hear me alright? Yeah. Good man. Alright, south. Uh, hold, gunner, 
One, nine, three, in between two trees. Going left to right. Lead him. Reloading. Shit. Oh, I've got an RP. Break, break. One, nine, three. We've got RPG. In between two rocks. Oh, is, is he RPG? Not sure. Anyway. Uh, between two rocks, beyond the two walls. Good shit. Three here, we're patching them up and we'll be back up and ready. Copy that, we're just uh, dissipating some of these contacts we've got front. Copy. There it is. It's south, and we're still one guy somewhere in the death lake. Alright, go. Go, uh, yeah, gonna keep south. Big Alpha, uh, we're gonna push up on the south now. We found Defilade, uh, so you can keep uh, parallel with us over. Oh, you want me on the road, yeah? Yeah. Driver, forward. Slow. Gonna keep front. So we've got Alpha on our right now. Yeah. Yeah, copy. Alpha, we've got contacts on the road ahead, south. Engage. We're engaging. Who's that? Your copy. Uh, pig, hold there for two seconds, over. Copy, holding. That contact is down. Alpha, we see no more contacts currently. Um, We'll push beyond this house and then you can clear the amount up. Copy, Pig. Uh, you haven't received any fire from those houses, have you? Uh, negative. No. Good copy. Jason, not yet. Alright, yeah. Uh, Alpha's gonna progress on the uh, houses here. Uh, from there, we'll uh, set up from there over. Yeah, good copy. I think you might have a single contact behind the house. Pig will push up with you. Stand by, bio. Yep. Okay, start moving. Five. Gonna keep front, but expect right. I'll keep left. I've got contact behind the rock. Cannot shoot. Alpha oh, contact yeah. behind the rock. We're going to engage when he's in uh, LOS. Good copy. Uh, Peg, I'm going to let you bypass these buildings and we're going to uh, sift through them with you. Over. Copy. What's up? Is he made out of stone or something? Jesus. Driver, hold. Pig holding. He's, Scanning. Uh, he's lying down. Alright, just keep an eye on him. Scanning. Oh. Oh, uh, we got contact 163. Uh, 163. Fire team to our south southeast, engaging. Can you see them? Pig, uh, we're crossing on your rear. Uh, make sure you lock it. Nope. Good copy. Yeah, they're moving oh, yeah. right to left. God damn it. Bit long. Just lead them a bit. Clear in the rear. Right, pig reversing, going to your left flank. Driver, reverse. And I want you to go to the left of this compound that Alpha are in. And support them on their left. Pig, uh, uh, interrogative, I need you on the road here, man. I need you on the right, uh, right, uh, right side, over. Good copy. Alright, driver, front, forward. Let's get parallel with where we were, basically. Wait, 
waiting on you, pig. Yeah, I just wanted to keep a bit of distance. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna get you back in parallel here while we make a second observation here. Coming up. Alright, next building. End of it. Going up front. Uh, push forward another 20, mate. Yeah, Alpha's got contact here, southeast. Uh, that's about 250 meters out uh, towards rock formation. Just break. Um, see if you can punch out a little bit to the front there, pig, and get eyes on that. As I said, southeast over. Copy that. Driver southeast. Forward 50. 50 feet, rather. And hold. Are you still to the southeast there, Alpha? Yeah, you got anything there, uh, Pig? No eyes, no. Copy. If you can, scan south side. If there's no content, we'll uh, mount up and uh, progress over. Copy that. Reverse it back onto the road. Bye bye, bye bye. Holding. Alright, clear. Reversing. Big Alpha, you got 30 seconds just to give a quick glance over the south side there. If there's anything there, we'll want a quick uh, rush up to the buildings there over. Good copy. I see nothing there. Uh, you're cleared them out. Good copy, Alpha mounting up. Right up. User joined your channel. Right now. Pig Alpha all in. Copy, pig moving. Alright, along this road, mate. Give it a 30. This is, lads, next uh, set of buildings. I don't know if it's like. Mm. Uh, we'll keep to the road for now because it's a bit crappy. Yeah, just yeah, keep the road. MD05. One one, this is Platoon. We're going to regroup at the intersection for a quick debrief. Copy. Drive a hold. And dismount. Hmm. <laughs> Bit unlucky there. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I don't think it had anything to do with uh, luck, really. It's just, um, it's just what I said in the beginning. It's all not very intuitive. It's not very well practiced and sunk in, which uh, makes it something we should focus on. So I've got uh, a couple of, of do's and don'ts here. I've just started a list. Mm -hmm. um, unless you've got something immediate that you sort of want to send nope. ahead. Nope, go for it. Uh, okay, so, a small thing. Mm -hmm. If uh, the gunner sees a higher threat than infantry that is a threat to the vehicle, should he wait for the order to fire or should he just kill it? Uh, this is a... <laughs> <laughs> this is a this well, is well spotted. ROE question. I hate these <laughs> because it takes 15 minutes to talk through. Oh. <laughs> I think establishing it at the start of the mission is the best thing. No, I think it's general. It's universal. It is not a question, but um, apparently it is. So um, let's address it. Let me just find notes on this. I've got this. I've got this ready, so I can pull it. <laughs> whenever it comes yeah. To be fair, I told Sakata I that I'd wait for a weapons-free um, instruction, but that was purely because I knew it was trading. And here it is. Okay, so universal ROE. Um, what does that mean? I mean, what else is there? Are there rules of engagements that aren't universal? Else, covert. Mission specific is the term used. So there's specific rules of engagement 
And then there's universal rules of engagement. Can you guys think of uh, of an example of specific rules of engagement? Fireless fire upon open engage. Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, you get aura here. Hang on. Oh yeah. Uh, how's this work even? Move to everything this time. Can we get it? Oh, I got it. Oh, Sorry, yeah. Orif. There you are. Okay, so specific rules of engagement. Anyone? Can anyone think of an example? Shooting civilians. <laughs> Shooting civilians would be very specific indeed. No, that's part of universal already is that you do not shoot civilians. Uh, we'll get into that. No, but um, hold your fire is a specific rule of engagement. Or return fire only is a specific rule of engagement. So this is something that's given out specifically applied to a specific situation by someone above you, a team leader, vehicle commander, something like that. If he does not give you specific rules of engagement, you have universal rules of engagement. And um, that's inherently about assessing threat. That's what we need to do. We need to assess the threat that we're looking at. Okay. So you have a um, couple of things that you can look at. For example, what kind of a contact are you in? And there's a couple of terms for this as well, which are soft and hard. <laughs> this is a bit ridiculous, but it's a soft contact is um, someone who is not shooting at you. A soft contact is when you are not being shot at. A hard contact is when you are being shot at by whatever it is. So that's the distinction, soft and hard. Um, also, you could make a threat assessment, which is, again, it's already come up today. Is the guy sitting in a bush with a spoon? Is it a low or a high threat? Sometimes you need to measure this thing not against the vehicle's armor, but against an infantryman's face, right? So we need to think about, is this thing generally a low or high threat? That's some of the considerations you should uh, get yourself into. Um, also... Uh, distance plays an important role. Is this far away or is this immediate? Or is it close or far away? And then also, I already touched upon this, uh, we can think about um, who is affected by this contact. Is it just about you individually? Is it about your element? Or is this maybe not about you at all? Um, or maybe a friendly element? Or is it maybe about civilians? That's all the sort of things that we can uh, think about. And inherently, this is going to enable us to answer a question. Anyone want to take a guess, guess at the question? Should we or should we not engage? Should we or should we not? So, do we? Yeah. Do we shoot first? Fair mine. <laughs> or do we talk first? Good question. So, if we have a soft contact, low threat, far away, not relevant to anyone, what do we do? Talk first. We talk first. If we are being shot at by a high threat close in our face and everyone's affected by it, what do we do? Shoot. Exactly. Essentially, I want you to take um, two points away from this. If I can not fuck up with my notes. Uh, can I, what is uh, like a high threat but not engaging? Uh, you could have a tank who is not looking your way and not shooting at you. It's a high threat, but it's a soft contact. Yeah, like that's uh, anti-vehicle uh, thing yeah, yes, behind you that was looking at us but not shooting. Well, that's very close, and it is a high threat. So, you definitely shoot first. No doubt about it. Because the first point I want you to take away from Universal ROE is you are always authorized to defend yourself and others. Meaning, when you are being shot at, of course you can shoot back. 
if a friendly is being shot at, of course you can shoot back. But then at the same time, uh, the thing to keep in mind with all this is uh, to not put anyone at risk. And this goes for the civilians as well, right? So um, if you have that tank, but a civilian sitting next to it, it's probably the, not the best idea to send a missile at it. Think of something else, make it move, get creative, but, right? So not endanger anyone, but protect them instead. Uh, that's universal ROE. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Sakata, forget my weapons free <laughs> advice. Follow that. With 15 minutes, that wasn't it? Did I did I minus that under 15 minutes? You did? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, you know. I, pretty I have no idea where I was now. I think you guys were still introing. I think yeah. the only intro. Okay, we're we're cool. do's so do's and don'ts, terrain, uh, two obvious points, uh, cover and concealment, always good to go for. Um, then uh, two more things that are insanely useful, both for vehicle and infantry, is low ground and reverse slope positions. Don't be on forward slopes and don't be on high ground, generally speaking. Um, so the dispersion thing comes up because uh, you guys got outflanked and then overrun by that SPG technical, which wouldn't have happened if you'd had solid cohesion. I said this, what I said earlier is do not do not lose line of sight with the other element. Alpha just dip down into a low ground and you can see each other anymore. And that is precisely why that happened. It wasn't bad luck or anything, it was a lapse in cohesion. Uh, so please keep that in mind. Um, I don't know what else I have, I can keep updating this, but um, over, over to you guys. Anyone have do's, don'ts, or any retrospective points? Anything from Alpha. Feel free to rip me apart. <laughs> oh, I, I have one. Yeah, we're doing 90 minutes. On, oh, on roads. Can you uh, screenshot it? Roads. Roads are very difficult for uh, mechanized teams. I mean, we can always screen. I'm, um, you know, I'm recording, so we can always screenshot it later. So I can't do it on this big computer because give it... them to the IFE. Give the IFE the roads. You did this partially by having them on it, but then at the same time, you also had multiple guys covering the same direction as the IFE down the road which is very inefficient. So, I mean, you can do this, but this leads me to another point, which is to move your entire team as one instead of in buddy teams. Okay. Yeah, I kind of think, I think I've noticed that in retro, but yeah. We can do that after. In retrospect. And at the, at the end, no I'll just... point in covering a road that's covered by an IFE. So if you're crossing a crossing a road, do it behind them as well. Uh, maybe should put that there as well. Maybe I'll come up with more. There's always loads on on roads, loads of stuff happening on roads. But yeah, okay. So I think if you'd kept cohesion, you could have moved off that intersection a lot quicker because you could have dealt with uh, threats better. Mm. <laughs> but I really don't want to keep talking. I just want to have you keep doing this, um, unless there's anything you want to mention. Cara, did you have something? Uh, sorry. Did Cara have something, or is that it? Hmm? No. No, that was just about RRE. Yeah. I thought you wanted to repeat me. That's okay. All right. So make sure to integrate RF into your team and uh, just keep doing what you're doing. Cool. Where have you are with Eric? Big team one. Blue, do you want to uh, do you want to walk there or drive there? It's only over there to the east. Um. Oh, so we'll just walk. <laughs> All right, I'll take I'll take the road. Mount up. Uh, one one, this is platoon. If not in contact, I recommend you use the mobility of the IFV because we want to practice defensive deployments here. Copy that. Out to you. Good copy. Alpha mount up. Alpha mountain. Upper mountain. Alpha penetrate us. Huh? You're, you're a penetrator. 
I think this is off of our hole then. Copy that, pig moving out. Alright, driver, uh, forward and then next left. Go on, gun front. If it's alright, mm -hmm. could we go second right? And then the next left. One one pig, this is platoon. <laughs> Send. Left. Uh, right, sorry. Recommend to limit right. your speed so that you have more right. reaction time when contact is taken. Over. Copy that. Uh, just 20, 20 please. Big Driver. Big, this is Alpha. Send. Uh, we'll be able to take the eastern road here. We're going to get ourselves quite mixed up in some urban terrain, which might not be favourable for your... Um, uh, let's just follow the course, I think. Copy that. We'll do that. Let's keep on this road, driver. Also, hi, Aaron. Where's it going? Hi. Hi, it's working, but it's still alive. <laughs> still alive, still kicking. I don't know if you can hear that. Been up to much, or just kind of working away. Contact front. Gonna quarter right. Oh, fair. Quarter right? Oh, yeah, see you down. Oh, and would you look at that, lads? We're right. back in the so, action. Let's have a look. Yeah, All right, driver, hold. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> hold there, gunner. Alpha, uh, we've got contacts front, uh, about 100 meters uh, behind defilade on the road. You've got buildings to your right and a gully to move up to buildings and cover. How copy? Alpha copies. Are we out of line of sight of these enemies over? You're out of LOS. You copy. Alpha's going to dismount. Right, dismount. Right. Let's go, boys. Team one, we just up on this compound here. Team two, following. Call one clear. On Stand by. Make it quick, lads. On the, on the gate here. Clear. Pig reversing. Uh, let's just go back 20 meters, mate. One one pig. This is platoon over. Send for pig. Please remember to do a 360 scan and quickly turn out before deploying infantry, over. Yeah, copy. Left, left, left. Well, Wanna get this on the west side. Keep front, gonna. Uh. Alpha, contacts are to your southwest break. Uh, there's another compound in between you and the contact spotted. I'll copy. Good copy. We'll see if we can deal with uh, that contact there, Bray. Uh, what's the terrain looking like uh, to the west side of this compound we're in over? Stand by. We're in contact. Right, reverse. Driver. Contact south. Uh, we've got infantry contact south. We're engaging. Good copy. One one alpha. This platoon. Driver, hold. Send it. Contacts to our south southeast one six six in the grass. Once again, broken line of sight with the IFE. I recommend oh, yeah. check their uh, flanks to make sure they're safe. Over. We've got a guy standing in front of us. Uh, we've okay. Driver forward twenty. Uh, we're coming up to your left side there, Alpha. You got contacts to your southeast. Good copy. I've got my uh, team one here uh, covering your left. Right, right fields right. southeast, close. Fire from the east. We cannot be here. We're fire team. To the southeast. South. Yeah. Left, 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 left. Bring it left. There. Fire team. Danger close. And to your right, right. Bring it right. Bring a right 150 gunner. 150. Drive reverse. Quote 
Yeah, we're getting flanked left side. Yeah, I think this is a little bit too hot here. Uh, are we able to pull out of this? Uh, over? Uh, no, stand by. Well, we're over on the left flank, so we're just going to clear a bit of that. Good copy. We'll make our way over to you now. Driver forward 20. Uh, we're just jockeying forward and back a little bit, see if we can clear some of this infantry for you. Right, front, south, south, east, contact. Got fire team south, south, east engaging. Copy. situations a switch of flanks is uh, often very useful yeah I can help see, uh, believe uh, eastern flank is also uh, heavily fortified over oh for this is pig uh, east is looking clearer now south east is looking clearer now standby turning out good copy oh, we still got shots coming in from the south Copy that, we're taking less fire now. We're copy. We'll clear them out. Uh, we're gonna bypass you on your we're gonna hook on your left side alpha, we're not making up. Uh copy that, yeah you can anchor to us, we'll stay on the road and we can push south. Good copy. Or rather we can uh yeah it's south south west. Yeah, that's it for him. Got a little bit overwhelmed there. Mm. Contact south, contact east. Wow. Oh, I only no, have yeah. one gun. <laughs> yeah. All right, if you can, uh, Alpha, see if you can just let it go off road, go direct south over. Good copy. You heard the man bio. Go 10 walking. 190. Moving up on your right. Yeah, we might have some contacts to the south southwest of that building, two story. Copy. Left of these rocks, please, bye. When we get up to the top, let's just hold and give him some elevation. Depression. Alright, gunner, scan. Pig scanning. Looks clear so far. Uh, uh, we got contact to our southwest. I'm going to get my uh, gunner to engage. Gunner, can you see that contact Copy southwest two three one? We're moving southeast towards the compound over. Three three. Copy that. Three one. Two three one. Two three one. Look at my camera. You should get your cameras up by using the brackets. You can see my camera. Yeah, I see your camera, but I can't see the contact. All right. Okay. Well, just keep your gun facing that way. Driver forward. Oh, I got a glimpse. Yeah. Hold. Are they all down? Signs be advised, you have five more minutes to get to phase line red. So I say, I say again, five minutes to phase line red. Out. Copy, platoon. All right, driver forward onto the road and turn left. Uh, Alpha, this is Pig. We're going to move onto the road and support you on the right. You copy. Um, we're just waiting on you. Meet yeah, copy. T-junction, over. Will do. And you see the T-junction ahead.
Uh, and hold. Alpha, you, uh, we cleared them out. You copy. Let's go a little quick, a little bit further here, and then we'll meet up. Oh, copy that. Nice one, driver. Alright, hold there. And we'll light up now. Right, Holding. Thanks, bye. Double time. Off all in. Pig moving out. Alright, give it a 2 0, mate. Let's follow this road round. It'll bend round to the right and then left. Dog leg. Fuck off. There we go. We'll keep following you, my man. Remember nothing. Alright. Nice. And left past the uh, salt flats here. The irrigation. Salt flats. Uh, your flat. Your mum's flat. <laughs> right, eyes sharp when we get over this bridge. Bills, we will take a right turn here and go on the west side. Hold. Uh, really? Yeah, there's a lot of buildings there. Uh, I know, but Filth wants this course, doesn't he? He said he can, we can keep between the black lines. Doesn't mean that we have to do follow the blue. Okay. Pick turning right. So west, face west there, boy. Yep. Gunner, uh, gunner front. South road. Yeah, I see it. Secondary, yeah. Here's my... Alright, let's get to this junction and turn left. Extremely sensible decision there. 1-1 one, one pig. Uh, we'll call it at the intersection with the dirt path you're coming up to and uh, regroup for debrief. Copy that. And face to the south on the road. And hold. Oh, cool, this Off dismount. if we could get that engine turned off. Bio, can you turn your beast off? He's still in it. Bio, dismount mate, turn the engine off. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. Well, go for go. Cheers. Uh, floor's yours, to begin with. I think that okay. better. Uh, well, yeah. The, la the latter half went better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we're seeing improvements too. I think the biggest thing is the line of sight is a huge problem um, because if the IFB needs to pull back um, because they're taking too much fire, then we have to ca we have to basically catch up, um, mm. which all involves us making risky maneuvers and running into things that are not entirely clear um, just to maintain cohesion. Yeah, I think it's in that quite challenging. In that situation, because I knew you were in that building, or all, all around it, I knew where you were. I just couldn't see you, and that was the difference. And on the because we, we were getting flanked on the left, I thought it was more important to knock them out so that I could get back into more cohesive state with you. But at least I was aware of where you were, and it wasn't that far. It was just the LOS wasn't there all the time. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know so what Phil thinks. On, on that note, I, I realize that it's a problem, but I would I would commend you to begin with uh, for that decision to uh, just go back slightly. Mm. Because uh, you, I think that was in part an emotional decision, but a sensible one nonetheless, because you felt that you were in a situation that wasn't to your advantage. And going further forward, which is 
to strengthen your disadvantage. I think that's the thought process behind it, and I think it, it made sense in that situation. Uh, what I will say in terms of prescribing procedure or a, or a best practice approach is essentially a, a mechanized or a vehicle combat one, which is for the vehicle to do thing two things, right? To not be stationary, right? to always be moving forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards, like we practice in the burn drills, right? So mm. you engage that infantry team, you pull back, you come forward and again, engage another infantry team, just mm. to keep on your feet, just to be less of a target, and also to switch up your lines of sight. I think that's the term you mentioned earlier, right? So mm. lines of sight are worse when they're stationary, you're not gaining an advantage. and by those properties of the vehicle being able to move and shoot at equal effectiveness at the same time. Uh, I think you should make, make use of that a bit more. But what I will say as well is I, I have an impression, and maybe you can, you can tell me if I'm wrong on this and I don't want to have a go, but I think you as the vehicle commander, you are predominantly looking where your gunner is looking. Is that correct? Uh, no, once, he, once I know he's got on target, then I switch it up, but... Um... Okay, cool. Yeah, that's exactly what I'd recommend is to essentially never look where your gunner's looking. Always look to the to the sides, to the flanks. Um, that will make you much more aware than just having that, that tunnel vision. And also, I mean, that driver's always observing front, so you don't need, really need to look there. You can make contact reports as well. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the, for the do's. I want to go over to the don'ts list, and I'm quite happy that we have so, so few points on it but one one thing that came up that sort of ruffled my feathers was uh, you, you don't wait for vehicles they have fucking engines and wheels or tracks at least there is no need to wait for them just to wait for them they can instantly come up and regain cohesion it's not the infantry's job to to wait for anyone um, quite the opposite's the case i think if you're waiting for anything, you're passing your initiative away. Right? Just move on, move slowly if you need to, but uh, that's that's something we shouldn't do. We shouldn't be waiting for vehicles. Um, another point that I will make is don't engage in CQP unless you absolutely have to. Yeah, that's fair. I get right. the CQB thing, that's fine. I think the vehicle thing is different. It, it, it's really difficult to um, to enforce, I guess. I mean, mm -hmm. in that last bit there, um, I know you guys are in contact in the southwest, mm -hmm. um, and we popped into that compound there, um, and I didn't really want to stick my head out uh, just because there were such long sight lines, uh, and I didn't have you immediately there. And the compounds are shit as well. Yeah, the compounds are shit. They're um, not good but fighting at least position. they give me uh, no. they give me hard cover, which is I find is pretty handy. But as soon as I lo uh, lo you know walk out of that compound, I'm like, no, nah, I need the vehicle there, you know, close by, so that they can either yeah, respond shield, to the contact shield, that's yeah. shooting at me, or as he says, provide some sort of blocking, um, especially at the west side. Because I mean, we were at that compound, you were. Probably, yeah, about 100, 125 meters out. Um, but I think the big thing was that you were lightly on a higher elevation than us. Mm. Um, and a little bit down the road. So for probably for reference, just to kind of the, the top of that brow there um, is probably a good example. But the thing from there is that there could be any amount of contacts in there between the rocks, there, the trees... Um, mm -hmm. Whereas if you guys were, you know, within the 50, 30 meter range, um, I'd be a lot more comfortable and a lot more confident to push the guys into uh, the, you know, the low grounds here and such. Yeah, I, th I think, sorry to interrupt, but I think there's a, a lot to unpack there. And I think it, it plays into the waiting for vehicles a point of it. And again, I'm, I'm making an assumption and feel free to correct me and I'm not having a go. But mm -hmm. I get the impression that you think about the vehicle a lot, about what exactly it's doing, what position it is in exactly. And I think that's a, a weight of, of a decision-making and awareness process that shouldn't be carried by the infantry leader. It is something that the IFV 
commander should internalize is right this thought how can i best support my infantry right now and with the compounds it's difficult right it's difficult to support them but i think just getting into the state of well they're in that compound i'm guarding that compound with my life or okay they're pushing that low ground i'll push with them and make sure that they don't get engaged coming out of it like thoughts like this in the specific situations it's like IFV command is about servitude to the infantry in order for you not to have to think about it at all. That's the ideal state, but I obviously think, very difficult to achieve. I think the problem there was we had a fire team to our right and the, the infantry went off to the compound. Um, so they were pushing whilst we were still engaging. Um, so I couldn't, I didn't want to push on and yeah. to support them when i had the infantry to our right so it's just like we've got to get the same tempo i think because uh we mm. can't keep up with you actually even though we've got the wheels <laughs> no, we can't that is fine i mean that's all things we will figure out as we get more practice and i'm very sorry this is such a talking intense session really we should be doing more doing but i want to rest on that cqb point for a second so in the beginning we said a uh, cover concealment great good go for that and i think there's a bit of a contradiction in that because at the beginning we talked about skirmishing and what that is right so we want to find ways forward if we're breaching compounds to hide in them we're not really doing that even if we're doing more than that if we're looking for a like a good fighting position in that compound we're in, engaging in static fighting we're not looking for ways forward um, also, when we're surrounding ourselves with tall walls and we can see about 10 meters ahead of us, we're not doing any reconnaissance, we're not aiding our awareness, we're not contributing to a to decision-making process. And on top of all that, it costs a lot of time and it's it's risk. So, I mean, you, you have to breach some compounds to find ways forward, I give you that, but generally speaking, it's best not to engage in that unless you absolutely have it. So in that situation, we knew the enemy was front, um, uh, the, and the compound was to the right, but it would have been better for the infantry to stay outside of the compound so they've got clear LOS and yeah, we can su I, support I, each yeah. other. Like yeah, forming a line on a berm is better than being in a walled compound. But that's, yeah. I mean, we've just run out of time. Um, if anyone yeah. wants to go for any closing remarks, um, but that's that's all from me. Thanks very, very much for taking part. Thanks all for making time to help us out on this. It's really important that we go through these difficult sessions so that the next ones can maybe become a little bit easier. We're just going to keep doing this in the next one and conclude this rotation and then move on to bigger, greater things. Thank you very much. And let's uh, play a mission. Cheers, man. Very valuable. Blue, could you take okay. screenshots for Oxman of the uh, the map with all the directions on? It's gone. Oh no! No, it's it. not. I got it. Well, I mean, it's on the video anyway. Oh dear. Yeah, I got a bunch of screenshots. Well done, mate. <laughs> that was really useful. Thanks, Phil. Um, I'll, uh... We're, we're playing a mission, right? Or is everyone yeah. leaving? I'll uh, stop this stream and then we'll get into a mission. Um, I'll need you for mission. Thanks for joining that training. Uh, sorry about the sound at the beginning. I'll edit that out, obviously. Not my fault, ever.